Flood Factor is a free, easy-to-use online tool created by the nonprofit First Street Foundation that makes it easy to learn about a property's current and future risk of flooding, the potential cost associated with flood damage, and understand how its future flood risk is changing over time because of a changing environment. Flood Factor simplifies this complex flood risk data into an easy-to-understand score that helps people protect themselves and their property. Put simply, a flood factor is a 1 to 10 scoring from minimal to extreme that tells you a property's potential risk of flooding at least once over the life of a 30-year mortgage. Flood factor aggregates how risks are accumulating and changing over time, which means even very small chances of flooding today can add up to bigger chances over time. All properties have a flood factor of at least 1, and the higher a property's flood factor, the larger the property's likelihood or depth of flooding over the next 30 years. Properties with flood factors of two or higher also have estimated costs to homeowners of repairing damage to their property as a result of flood risk. The reality of a changing climate means every property has at least some risk of flooding over time, even if that risk is extremely low. For this reason, flood factors do not start at zero. A flood factor of one captures even extremely minimal risk over time. The peer-reviewed model used by Flood Factor was created thanks to an unprecedented partnership of more than 80 world-renowned scientists, technologists, and analysts. The model allows Flood Factor to incorporate risk from all major types of flooding, including high-intensity rainfall, overflowing rivers and streams, high tides, and coastal storm surge. Flood Factor also takes into account how flood risks will change over time with sea level rise and atmospheric changes over the next 30 years, which means even a property that hasn't flooded in recent past could still face flood risk in the future. Even a property located high atop a hill could have a relatively high flood factor if it's in an area where heavy rain events are expected to become worse and more frequent over the next three decades. The model used by Flood Factor includes publicly available and third-party data to identify property boundaries and the boundary of the building on the property. The boundary or footprint of the building is then used along with publicly available elevation data for the area to determine the likelihood of water on the ground reaching the lowest point of the home's footprint. It's important to note that this water reaching this boundary doesn't necessarily equate to water entering the home. How quickly the water reaches the footprint, how long it stays, and the home's foundation type have a lot to do with the actual damage the home may experience. For the majority of homes in the U.S., the elevation of the first floor of living space in a home corresponds to its footprint, but this varies from home to home. Homes with basements may experience more flooding at lower depths, while raised homes may be better protected from higher depths of flooding. The estimated damage costs provided by Flood Factor take these things as well as other building characteristics into consideration. The scores, however, are associated with risk of flooding, not damage. Elevated homes can still have a high score due to the high risk of water reaching the structure. Individual home protections, such as sump pumps, drains, or raising the home on stilts, are not incorporated into a property's flood factor because this information is not readily available nationally. Flood factor does capture thousands of community flood prevention measures, including features like dunes and wetlands, as well as geoengineered efforts like large seawalls and pumps. Flood factor is working with local experts to continue adding missing features. Even neighbors can have significant differences in flood risks, largely due to differences in elevation, proximity to water, and proximity to flood risk reduction projects. Like getting blood work to determine your risk for certain illnesses, flood factor should be viewed as a diagnostic tool that can help alert homeowners or buyers to the potential flood risk facing a property and the estimated cost of that risk over the life of a 30-year mortgage. But just because something could happen doesn't mean that it will. Although unlikely, a home with an extreme flood factor may never experience flooding, and a home with a minimal flood factor could flood. Having that information allows you to then consult a specialist or local floodplain manager who can help you learn more, evaluate your risk, and help you find ways to protect yourself from damage. While a property's flood factor score does not determine whether or not it needs to carry flood insurance, it can help you better assess how to protect your investment into the future. When you know your risk potential, you can take action to minimize your financial exposure and better protect yourself, your home, your businesses, and your family. That's why there is information about how you can protect your property and decrease its chances of flooding 